questions. So if I may start with um, Sir Yul. Thanks, Carmela. Captain Lamata. Uh, as a matter of fact, you are a member of the Maritime Institution of the University of Paris. Experience. I myself is a uh, son of a mariner, and a teacher, and a brother of a captain. And a brother of a Thanks. From childhood, uh, what's your ambition or vision to become a mariner ever since? I suppose uh, it was because I come from a family of mariners. My grandfather was chief engineer on one of the Yanko vessels flying between Cavite and Marivelas. My father also was a chief engineer. And uh, when I graduated from high school, I started working in the Earnshaw shipyard here in Manila. It is no longer existing, but it's in uh, South Harbor, near the mouth of the river Pasig. And it was there when I was working as a laborer that I saw the officers of uh, the other ships that were docked or dry docked and being repaired in our shipyard. And I saw all of those officers uh, wearing their nice clean uniforms, uh, sitting around on deck while their ship is being repaired, while I, working as a um, laborer at that time uh, would come out at five o'clock in the afternoon all black and dirty with oil and suits and only my eyes were clean because I had to clean up uh, oil of the bottom of the engine room and uh, that is how I began my career uh, working in the engine room of ships that are being repaired in Earnshaw docks. By that time, I was also looking around and I saw the officers of these ships that we were working on and they were all sitting around on deck with their neat freshly ironed uniforms as if they did not have any care in the world. While the engineers were hacking away in the engine room, dirtying themselves with oil and grease, like myself, to fix the engines of the ships. That was when I decided that uh, I would not like to work in the engine room my father, in fact, was a chief engineer and was, <clears throat> and of course, had to work in the engine room. And I was supposed to follow his footsteps uh, to uh, continue the line of engineers. My grandfather was a, an engineer also on <clears throat> the Yanko vessels of uh, Mr. Yanko at that time, and therefore uh, it was expected of me to become an engineer as well. But uh, I had a change of mind <coughs> because I saw these officers nicely and neatly dressed, all clean, <coughs> as if as if they were having a good time uh, while doing their job. So I decided that uh, I would shift 
from the engine room side to the deck side. I, I talked to my father about this because uh, he was also an engineer. And reluctantly, he agreed that I shift to the deck. And that is how I started my career as a training you know, on a, as an apprentice cadet on board a ship. Next question. Okay. Give it all away. <laughs> Let them read it. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe so that we can open, open for the next question. We started with only 1,000 copies. But How much is it? The suggested retail price is 300 pesos. Okay, but we're open for all arrangements. Cup. <laughs> In fact, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the captain here is a uh, rear admiral in the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary for the squadron in Manila. Cap, uh, would you tell us what is your, uh, to your mind, your feeling, best achievement as a mariner, and uh, maybe in passing you can tell us what is your frustration? First, uh, the accomplishment, the best accomplishment that most success, uh, successful part of your mariner's life. Well, I think that uh, having become uh, a mariner and having achieved the position of a master mariner, the highlight and peak of my career, I think would be the best uh, achievement think that uh, I would have done and <coughs> I'm, uh, ex <coughs> I'm extremely proud of it because uh, I uh, came from a poor family, studied in the University of Hard Knocks, I don't have any degree in college and therefore I'm proud that uh, I have been uh, able to manage to acquire an education on my own to be able to compete with the rest of uh, my colleagues in the business. Your frustrations? Do you have any? Frustrations? Uh, I don't know. I, God has been kind to me and has given me all of what I have prayed for. It is uh, something beyond my dreams. Uh, if I were given the chance to do it all over again, I think that I would still do the same thing as what I had done. Okay. Is there any of your children uh, as part of your footsteps? As a well, uh, none of them have uh, gone to sea as it were. But uh, they have uh, taken up uh, uh, positions in the industry uh, intimately related to shipping. 